Welcome back, grappling fans. My name's John Evans, and thanks for joining me again today for another Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu tournament match. Today's match is going to be from the Nogi World Championship, which just happened this past weekend in Long Beach, California. I was there, I was filming, it was an awesome event. Some of the fights were really, really good, some upsets, and some of them were kind of boring, but... That's to be expected from any tournament. We will talk about some of the more exciting ones, and maybe if you're good boys and girls, I will give you a little bit of a breakdown of the overall event. So uh, if that's something you would want to see, just leave a comment in the section below, and I will try to do that for you as best I can. But uh, the event was pretty good. So if you are watching it live, you're watching it online, then you know how good some of the fights were. Let's go ahead and cut over to one of the fights from Saturday. This was in the Absolute Division, and this is with Vitor Oliveira. So let's check that one out. Vitor here on the left. If you've been following his his grappling tournament record this year, you know this guy has just been tearing it up. So let's see if he can do the same thing in this tournament. Uh, right now, this is the wrestling portion of the grappling match because neither of them wants to sit to guard. So they are actively trying to out-wrestle each other. They're matching levels. Oh, and there you can see Vitor tries to change levels and shoot in, maybe on a single or a double leg. But I like this. I, I think wrestling is a very big part of grappling. It, it is grappling. They're one and the same. It just happens to be that they're segregated as sports, which is just... Uh, I, I don't love that. Um, also, the wrestling portion of it gets a little bit neutered in grappling tournaments because of the rules. So uh, I personally think you should not be allowed to pull guard. Uh, unless you're willing to take like a maybe negative one point or negative two points or your opponent gets the takedown maybe. So uh, that would promote more of this wrestling, which I'd love to see because it's a great art, great sport, and uh, it looks like maybe it's coming back to the Olympics as well. So that's awesome. Um, but here they are. They're just jockeying for position, looking for, for grips trying to get grips on the hand. I, I like what his, Vitor's opponent's doing. He's faking the shot, and then when Vitor goes down, changes levels to match level with his opponent, then his opponent is trying to shoot that guillotine. That's very, very sneaky stuff, uh, and that is some textbook wrestling. Of course, you don't shoot the guillotine with wrestling, but you'll shoot, like, maybe a front head and arm, or you just try to snap them down and go to their back. And uh, that appears to be what's going on, but Vitor is a, he is a physical beast. I mean, you look at him, the guy is just shredded. Somebody call a vet for this guy, because those pythons are sick. And there he tries to shoot in for fireman's carry. His opponent uh, is able to push him away, but then he shoots back for the double leg. His opponent sprawls, and uh, Vitor reshoots and gets this double leg, and now he's on the back, and this is no good for his opponent. His opponent tries to roll out of it. This is not wrestling. That was not a good Granby roll, because now Vitor is all on your back, and you are in turtle, so this does not spell... Fun times for you. Vitor there just comes off to the side, throws that hook, and his opponent is angling off to the side, which kind of puts him in a banana split. And here you can see Vitor trying to go on this calf crusher, but that is not the best one to do. He really wants to go on this near leg, uh, which it looks like he's going to switch right off to. Oh, and that's really, really tight. Ooh, man. And he definitely, <laughs> definitely switched the proper leg there and gets a fantastic submission. Good job, Vitor Oliveira. That, yeah, congratulations, buddy. That is exactly why we like to see his matches here on BJJ Breakdown. Thank you guys for tuning in. I know this one was a short one, but we will be back very shortly with more great matches from the Nogi World Championship. So until next time, goodbye.